Hello everyone, welcome to the MCQ video series of NESI Pharmacist Exam Preparation. Now in this video, I will explain arithmetic ability questions. Now understand the exam pattern. ESIC Pharmacist Exam has got two parts. Part one is subject knowledge pharmacy, 100 marks, 50 questions. Each question carries two marks. Whereas part two is of general intelligence, general awareness and arithmetic ability, 50 questions, 50 marks. Now the problem with this uh, exam is there are minimum qualifying marks for each section. For OC, it is 45%. You need to get in each section. For BC, it is 40%. For SCST, it is 35%. You need to get in each section. So, no matter how good you score in subject paper, if you don't get qualifying marks in paper 2, you will not be selected. So, make sure you get a qualifying marks. Uh, to help you in this regard, I have picked the arithmetic ability questions from the previous papers of ESI Pharmacist and I am solving in this video. Again, understand this one. See, while so, though they, these are math related questions, I will solve without using a pen and paper. These are all very simple calculations. You can do it with your, uh, with your brain thinking. I would suggest you all of you to develop such kind of thing. I'll explain how to do it. Let us see the questions first. The first question is the simple interest on a certain sum at 7% per annum for one year is 350 rupees. Find the principal amount. See the question is about simple interest and the interest is 7% per annum. 7% the moment you see percent questions it is per hundred. For 100 rupees, it is 7, 7 rupees is charged. For 200, it becomes 14 rupees, 7 into 2. For 500, it becomes 7 into 5, 35 rupees. Now, the question says, per one year, the interest is 350 rupees. See, just now I told you, for one year, it is 7, right? For 100, it is 7 rupees. If it is 500, it would be 35 rupees interest. Now, the question says, it is 350 rupees, 500, 35 rupees. If it is 350 means, it becomes 5,000. If you take 5,000 at the rate of 7% interest per year, you will pay 350 rupees. So the question is asking, what is the principal amount? The principal amount is 5,000. Option 2. See, look at the options. Op option 1 is 4,000. Option 2, 5,000. Option 3, 4,500. Option 4, 5,500. Option 2 is answer. Very simple question. See, for math related arithmetic ability questions, you can, you can solve it in multiple ways. Choose the one which is very comfortable with you and you need to get an accurate answer. You can, you can simply solve it 5000 into 7 percent, 5000 into 7 by 100, you do it, you will get 350. But even, even doing all those things without doing anything, you can just calculate it. Per year, 7 rupees per 100. If it is 500, it becomes 35 rupees. Now the question asking that the interest is 350 rupees, then it, the principal amount would be 5000. As simple as that. Now let us look at the next question. The equivalent discount to consecutive discounts of 15% and 20% will be options given are 35%, uh, 36%, 32%, 30%. Now let us understand this question. See, the equivalent discount to consecutive discounts means, see first they have given 50% discount. Whatever you get on that again 20% discount is given. Understand this one. Let me explain it. Let's say you, you bought a product of 100 rupees worth. I told you already the moment you see percent questions, think about 100. Now you bought a product of 100 rupees, on that you got 15% uh, discount. Discount 15% meant 100 rupees, 15% meant discount you need to remove, red, reduce 15 rupees. 100 minus 15, 85. Now consecutive discount means on this 85 again you apply 20% of discount. Now how to do it? See, 20% means 20% by 100. That means one fifth. So 85 by 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 sevens are 35. So here 17 rupees again you will deduce it. So initially you have deduced 15 rupees because it is 15% discount. Again on that 20% means it is not on 100, it is on 85, 17. So 12, uh, 17 plus 12, how much it is? 32. 17 plus 12. Right? Now understand this one. See, uh, uh, now uh, uh, see the consecutive discounts works like this. So overall for a product you are getting 32% of discount. Initially you bought 15% and then 17%. So you, you combine it, you get it to 32%. So option C is the right answer. Look at the first option. First option says it is 35%. People see the 15 and 20, add them and, and think it is 35%. No. If the product is 100 rupees, if you get 35% discount, 35 will be reduced. But it is a consecutive discount. First 15% is given, then it has become 85. Again, on that 20% means again you need to deduce 17%. So totally it, it, it becomes 
not 35. So think, think logically and then apply all these concepts. Now let us see the last question. See a number x is short of y by 20%. Then what percent is y in excess of x? See a little bit uh, a word, word problem kind of thing. Now understand this, a number x is short of y by 20%. So imagine y is 100, x becomes 80. Why? x is short of 20%. If y is 100, x becomes 80, 20% 20 short. Now the question is then what percent is y in excess of x? So y is 100, x is 80. How much this x, uh, y is, is bigger than this x? So x is 80. To the 80, 20 more is y. So how much percentage of 80 is 20? Understand this. If you say 20%, 80 into 20% will give 16. But that is 20 bigger. 25%, 80 into 25% will be give you 20. So again, again, logical question, the answer would be 25%. See, look at the options. First option is given 20 to confuse you. Even the previous question also, first option will always try to trap you. Understand this. 80, 100 is there. If 80, you take 20%, you will add 80 plus 16, it becomes 96. But 100 is 25%, 80 into 25%, then it becomes 20, 80 plus 20 becomes 100. So option 4, 25% is the answer. So this is how you need to think and do. See, these questions are simple ones. They, they, are, they are not even considered as arithmetic ability, they are considered as general intelligence, the percentages. So I hope this video is useful. Practice such kind of questions, you will definitely do well. All the best.